very tough to bear the pain of not being able to have a baby when you have decided to get pregnant. In today's day and age, due to stress and lifestyle choices and multiple other reasons, infertility is becoming a rising problem for many couples. But don't give up, because miracles do happen. IVF technique is one such medical miracle that has helped bring happiness in many people's lives. Today we have with us Astor's Dr. Gautam Alabadia, specialist IVF consultant, to tell us more about the causes of infertility and how to deal with it. Firstly, I want to know why is infertility uh, is on a rise in today's day and age? Actually, infertility is now being detected um, more often than previously. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the reasons for the rising figures in all the global monitoring uh, watchdog bodies. And uh, nearly one in five couple now globally is uh, having some problem getting pregnant. Mm -hmm. And in this region, in the GCC or in the MENA region, you have a little higher than even the global average of the incidence of infertility. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of it now is being attributed to the lifestyles Absolutely. that uh, people are leading mm. because the traditional problems of male factor, female factor, unexplained and combined are always there. Mm. But today you have a lot of common things like you know, being obese mm. or being underweight or having uh, addiction for smoking or drinking. Couples are getting married and deferring childbearing till they are settling Absolutely. down in their jobs or having, you know, first their first priority is to buy a home here. Mm. And by the time they begin, it's a little too late. Correct. The best time to have a baby is between 25 to 30. Mm -hmm. A lot of times now we are seeing patients who are coming after 35. The woman's age is very important and mm -hmm. The, the biological clock is yes, for... Yes, ticking all the yeah. time. And uh, we have, uh, if they come at after 35, it's the time after 35 when the fertility starts declining rapidly. Mm -hmm. So most of the time we don't have time for conservative treatments and, you know, telling them to try at home or going for some basic treatments. Most of the times they come to us when now we have bio biomarkers that tell us that the woman's ovarian reserve is running dry mm -hmm. and we have to go in and offer them assisted reproduction. The good part is that technology has made rapid advances so we can have uh, really good results. We can give results as high as 60 to 70 percent with mm -hmm. assisted reproduction today. Till how long uh, should couple wait before they uh, go in for IVF? Actually, there is a rough rule of the thumb or uh, unofficial rule that if the woman is less than 30, mm. she must wait for a year, try at home with unprotected intercourse, and if she doesn't get pregnant, she must get both the husband and wife must get themselves checked. Right. If the woman is more than 30, I feel if you try, when you're actively trying to get pregnant, whenever you start planning mm -hmm. a baby, and if you don't get pregnant in six months' time today, it is better to take a good expert help and don't turn to Google. Mm. Like I feel it's better to just take a consult, get yourself screened, and then even if you want to defer it for another six months, the child wearing, at least you know that you are screened. You know the facts. Yeah. Yes. Today there is a trend that young girls are insisting that as soon as they get married, they go for like yeah, wellness checkup or something, they get their fertility checked as mm -hmm. well for the husband and wife. I feel that is in today's time a very sensible, very thing, to sensible do. thing to do. And so you can plan out if she has a, if her blood reports tell us she has a good ovarian reserve, then you can wait for some time mm -hmm. and settle down your career and then start. So what is IVF all about? What's the process? IVF the means in vitro fertilization. Mm. In vitro means outside the body. Mm. Fertilization is fertilization of the sperm and egg. Mm. In layman's terms, it means uh, fertilizing the egg and sperm in a petri dish or test tube outside the body. We place the egg and sperm together and actually nature does the actual fertilization process. Mm -hmm. Today you have uh, ancillary and technologies that help us increase pregnancy rates. Right. You have excellent freezing technology, mm -hmm. we can freeze eggs. So 
if you freeze eggs and you want to then you know wait for a couple of years to reach some goal or some job position mm -hmm. but you have frozen the eggs two years uh, before you have started planning for a baby so you have those young eggs and these eggs can be safely frozen for up to 25 years wow really so you can have one baby then after two years come back have, and yeah. then have some more eggs thawed and have an IVF done again and have the second baby so they'll be actual real siblings in a mm -hmm. way although they are born two three years apart always remember a woman's eggs will have more and more chromosomal or genetic abnormalities as she ages mm -hmm. there are two things happening the egg quality decreases and the quantity decreases right so if today you have the technology that okay you are 32 you are, it's very important that you don't want a baby till you're 34 at least if you feel that you are your biochemical marker something called amh anti-mullerian hormone which tells us what is a woman's ovarian reserve is borderline you can always bank your yeah. eggs and then two years later complete your family A lot of my friends have gone through the process and it's an emotional process to go through firstly and secondly physically it's also very very uh, strenuous with all the hormones that is put inside the body and everything else that goes with it uh, and before the interview we were talking about IVF light I would yes. really like to know more about that IVF light actually the word was coined by me and mm -hmm. then I wrote a lot of peer-reviewed publications mm -hmm. and then we set up an international journal with a group of scientists mm -hmm. uh, called IVF Light. Light is L-I-T. Here, our entire thrust is minimal stimulation IVF. Mm -hmm. The first part of IVF entails for about two weeks, the woman is given fertility injections. Mm -hmm. And it's a large number of injections. These are hormones being pumped in. Right. Although they are short acting, for those two weeks, the woman has a lot of medicines in her system. The aim is to make multiple eggs mm. and uh, one of the side effects of these injections is a dreaded medical complication called ovarian hyperstimulation syndrome mm -hmm. which can be fatal as well and scientists were, were the last, the first IVF was done in 78 and scientists and doctors were working on ways on how to eliminate this OHSS and also how to minimize the side effects of this treatment Correct. because these are young women in their exactly, 20s and 30s yeah. and over 10 years now we have fine-tuned this method where we have you know just 10 tablets on 10 days that we give and about three injections so one tablet a day one tablet for 10 a day days for 10 days and three injections at the end is all and the results are as good as conventional IVF. Initially IVF light was only for older women, mm -hmm. like women above the age of 38, women poor responders who don't make too many eggs with fertility mm -hmm. injections. But today we have expanded it to almost all indications, mm -hmm. like women who are prone to ovarian hyperstimulation, women with endometriosis, mm -hmm. even normal responders. We give them tablets and injections and we can get the eggs out, we freeze the eggs, and the next month, the main difference in IVF light is that here, for all patients, we freeze the eggs in the month in which they are removed from the woman's body, and the next month, we prime the uterus, we prepare the uterus, we make it more sticky mm -hmm. to receive the embryos. Okay. And that increases the pregnancy rates to 60, 70 percent. Interesting. So it's really a thing that we are proud at Aster to have offered this program and mm -hmm. we have the most experience with it. We have the most published papers, peer-reviewed, internationally published papers on this technology. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so a woman who otherwise was told you'll never have your own genetic child also has a chance now at Aster to have their own genetic children. Sure. So how many IVF pr procedures should couple go through if they have not been successful? When is the time to actually, say no? Actually, uh, initially when we were students and when we were postgraduates, there was a rough rule of the thumb. Universities abroad used to tell us if a patient is done four IVF procedures with you and she's not getting pregnant, there is a problem. And you must not keep persisting with IVF. But today with IVF light, things have changed on their head. Mm. Previously, four IVFs meant something like maybe she has taken 200 injections pumped into mm. her over six months. Today with IVF light, we tell them that, you know, one cycle you take tablets, 
the next cycle you don't take any medicines any come in your natural cycle where you make your own god given egg mm. and we will take that out so today it is not numbers it is even if we can do supposing you decide i don't want any medicines i'll say fine if you are willing to have six egg pickups mm. then we collect six eggs in your natural cycle you will have your own baby and these eggs that nature gives are generally of very good quality mm. when you compare with the eggs produced with fertility injections mm -hmm. So things Very IVF has really changed in the last two three years. I can see and, that, and with all the discussion that we are having right now, I know that IVF a few years back, even five six years back, was so expensive, and only yes. people from the affluent background could actually afford it. And the fact that it's reaching out to the working couple because the issue has become so common now is a big step towards yes. uh, giving hope to couples. Actually, it has the prices have really not come down universally. It is, I think, the Aster exactly. mission yes. of reaching healthcare to everyone that has the management has taken a conscious decision to have, uh, you know, healthcare reaching its target population here. And I feel even from three years back to now, technology has really changed, and now we have. women who were given up 3 years ago for ibf can also can have their own genetic children yes i think aster has really taken a big step and a huge step towards giving hope to couples uh, so many couples have been blessed with babies by you and you're doing a fantastic job just keep doing this thank yes. you very much thank you wonderful for coming on thank this. you